Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Two days in a row. So I said to myself, oh, I'm going to, they're going to be dead after this class, the, the second class. So I said, oh, I'll put something very light. Clot guide. It's just to help you to sew straight or to top stitch straight or to decorative straight. So I forgot to tell you, my name is there, Céline Ross. I'm an, ed an educator for Genome Canada. So let's see the clot guide on, uh, on a sewing machine and on a serger. Of course, there's also a clot guide for the uh, um, Cover Pro, but two is enough today, you know. So uh, I'll do the... Um, I'll do the uh, cloud guide another time for the cover pro. Okay, so you recognize this? Do you use it? When you bought the machine, some model, it's not for every model, but it's, I hope it's still not in the box because I hear sometimes, oh, I saw this, I didn't know what it was. Well, you know, in the box also you have an instruction book that you can open sometimes, okay? But if you didn't open it yet, just watch this, okay? So this is not for every machine. Today I'm using, again, the memory craft. It's an embroidery and a sewing machine. If you have only a standalone embroidery machine, it's not possible because this is for sewing. So for sure, forget it. No problem. You don't, there's no need for this. Okay. If you have a sewing machine and an embroidery machine, even 11,000 has one, 11, uh, 11, 12,000, 15,000, S9, um, then 9850, I'm not sure. You know, I, because I don't all I don't have all of them, so I, that I'm not sure. But you know, check in your instruction book. But the information is for all these machines. So when you have a sewing machine and an embroidery machine, you have to attach your clot guide to the embroidery unit. And it depends which machine you have. You see the difference between in the length and between the two of them? One, one is S9 and the other one is 15,000. So the size of the machine and the size of the embroidery arm is not the same. Huh? So this, this explains the, the difference in the length. Okay? So uh, you, you have to use the one that comes with your machine. Also, if you have a sewing machine only, not every model, you have to look in your, uh, in your instruction book, okay? There is something like this. See this, this, you attach it. I'll show it to you on this machine after. It's not for that machine, but I'll show it to you after, okay? On this machine, you, you'll understand. <laughs> You know what, in French, I would explain to you so much, so good. So what is this? You see, Janome, think of everything, yeah? Janome, it's a J. Janome, clot guide. And if you look on the screen of your machine, the stand is moving and this is, your clot guide icon. It's a J. Well, a funny J, but it's a J anyway. Okay? So I'll show you how it works. It's so easy. So this is just to help you to, to sew straight. I'm just going to change my, uh, my stitch because I like to do the uh, lock stitch at the beginning and at the, end, and at the end. So what do I have to do first? I do attach to my embroidery unit like a hoop my club guide then I'm going to activate that icon but the whole embroidery unit will move and it's gonna come out here maybe it'll hurt the serger it'll hit the serger 
So I will push the serger and you'll understand why. Okay, so uh, let's say put it this way. So you'll see this moving and which icon I press. And the machine asks me, do not touch. The embroidery unit will move, okay? Of course, okay. So you don't say, okay, uh, you're in trouble. So you see what I meant? Look at this. Look how close it went. And if I'm going more, because I can still push it to the to the left. If I still push it more left, well, oh, yo, 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 this is, then I have to really oh the noise. Okay, so then because I can push, you see, look at this. I, I would have hit. Okay. So just to show you that when you use it, nothing on the left, okay? So what happened just now when I ask, I'll, I'll stop it, I'll, I'll do it again for you to really understand, okay? Club guide, okay. Oh, stupid me. I have to put it back in place, eh? if I wanna show you, it was in place already. Try to find a better angle. Okay, you wanna use it? Yes, everything is moving. By default at one, uh, 15 millimeter or 1.5 centimeter or 5.8. So why do I have it in, in millimeter? It's because when I said the language of my machine, I said it into French, okay? So I, I'm sure you know, but just in case, I'll show you how to set the language. Set language, English, okay. Club guide, keeps hand clear. Oh, 1.5, I read, oh no, no, no. I, I understand, okay, hold on, hold on. I have to set the measurement. Oh, oh, Celine. Bon. So, inches, okay, I forgot that now. Gee, Claude, that power unit, uh, embroidery unit is moving like, <laughs> okay. Uh, now you have five eighths of an inch. And then, you know, the electronic machine has precise needle position, okay? 0.1 millimeter at the time or 132, okay? This is one eighth of an inch which is one millimeter this is 1.32 is 0.1 millimeter okay to the right to the left so when you have a nine millimeter machine you have 91 needle position and when you have a seven millimeter machine you have 71 needle position well you can really achieve perfect and precise sewing. So five eighths of an inch, let's go to the needle plate now. See the needle plate, oh, maybe more light, maybe my, okay, luminous. I can't work now without my luminous lamp. I'm getting old also, so I need more, more light. So you see, my guide is exactly at 5.8, exactly. But what I like from this club guide is it's long. It's long here, but it keeps going up to the back. So let's do a seam just, just, for, just for fun, just to prove you that. Um, so I have two pieces of fabric, okay? See how long it is here? And I'm gonna say okay to my machine. And five eight, I'm okay. So I, I always start with the lock stitch, okay? And I will go slow. Look, even here, even at the back, it's straight. So you see, I don't bother to look here. When you use this, make sure that your fabric are your two pieces of fabric I should say are following the cloth guide. Oops. Cloth 
guide up to the end lock stitch automatic thread cutter automatic presser foot lift and look at this this is even all the way okay then you say hmm I want to change my needle uh, not my needle position I'm sorry I want to change the cloth guide I want it I'm sewing for men you know women is 5 8 seam allowance men is one centimeter which is 3 8 of an inch okay so this part here is higher than the bottom part huh? it's at 5 8 I want to push it to 3 8 so I'm back on my screen here and I'm going to push I'm up there three eighth of an inch three eighth of an inch I look here I'm, did I do okay exactly three eighth of an inch then again oh I have to say okay my window was active Okay, keep going. It's hard to sew with the camera in front of uh, your eyes, huh? So my eyes are here, all the, and my hand is guiding and keeping the fabric uh, following the uh, the guide here. Oh, not too fast it is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Automatic thread cutter. Always, you know, by habit, I always put my thread holder right away to get a nice tension. So you see, I'll fold it. You see my my seam, but look, five eight, one centimeter of three or three eight. Okay. So that's a cloth guide for this one, but there's more that the, you can do with the cloth guide. So you say to yourself, no, now I'm sewing the whole week. And I need the cloth guide to my 3.8 and I don't want always have to ask my machine move it and move it and move it okay first thing you have to do you bring back if I put the camera like this because at the same time you will see the cloth guide here huh? at the same time so put it back into place okay okay now we're going to program what I want to tell, explain to you. Set, okay? It's not in the general information. It's in the sewing information. Page three, cloth guide, calibration. So this is where you want it. But you want to save this position because you want when the machine is closed, when you turn it on and ask the uh, cloth guide, it's always 3.8. Okay, on. Now let's calibrate. Okay. And here you have no measurement. You see, I'm going. You cannot see. So what do I do? I, I bring the camera on the other side, but me, I will be pressing this cloth, this uh, arrow to push the carriage and the cloth guide to the left until I reach 3.8. So, so you see my 3.8 is here and I need this to be on top of my 3.8. I'll go a bit fast, faster. 3.8. Okay. So, I did it. Now, I'll say okay. 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 Keep your hands off. Of course, it's going to tell you 5.8 here because I'm using this but let's come and see what happened here. Oh, 3 eighths of an inch. My 5 8 is here. 3 eighths of an inch. Because I pre program or I program uh, and I save 
the, the right measurement that I want. Okay? So this way you don't have to always push the button. When you ask, it's going wherever you want. Okay? It's like a resume. Almost the same thing. Okay? That's one thing. Now, bring, bring uh, my... I want to bring this in. I don't want to use this one here now because I want to show you what other machine, let's say you have 9850 or 8200 or 8900. You have to remove, you have to remove your extension table which hold your uh, accessories. Okay. And this is the cloth guide that comes with your machine. Okay? And here, it's, it's like a small sp it, it springs, you know, it's, it moves a bit. And you have the other part. So the free arm will be in between. Because of the pressure of this one here, it'll hold it tight to your free arm. So first at the back then pull towards you in the front and it's in place so now you cannot ask your machine to move but you have a hand up you have two hands okay and you move your, your hands so you say i want five eight whoops i went too far five eight is here five eight my guide is here I want three eight. I want between five and three. I want one half, uh, one eight. I want to top stitch at two centimeter or three or four. You know, you, you're the boss, huh? You you move it the way you want, where you. I look at this up to here, up to the inside. Okay. Even well, now your needle position won't go, but. You see, you just take your hand and you move it where you want this guide, cloth guide goes to uh, the measurement. Three is here. You know, we really, you really need to understand your needle plate. Oh, so much detail. You know, this has is um, the the needle plate has um, copyright huh, from Janome. So there's so much detail. You can sew with angles, 45 degree, 30 degree, 120 degree, uh, 60 degree. You have your angles, you have your seam allowance, which is a quarter of an inch. This little plate, one day I'm going to explain to you really in detail, okay? And I think maybe Genome has a, a real um, document, explicit document, you know, maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll check it out. Because this is so important. You know, you buy a sewing machine, you're in front of the machine. The machine is nice. There's more than just is nice. Huh? It's all, all these detail counts. It's really important. So, okay, some machine have that. You okay with that? I'm sure yes. I'll remove it. Now, let's go to the serger. Okay. Bring the poor machine in the front. Whoops, and the whole cabinet is coming. Okay. Okay. So, let's say you want to sew straight. I'll show you a little something here that I saw. I searched it before. Look at the balloon here. Okay to prevent this it's you know it's easy to see oh just just keep an eye here follow the side of the uh, of the machine yeah but sometimes okay especially if you had wine so to make sure you're going really straight there is a clock guide it's an optional accessory this is not a foot because i'm using the regular foot okay this is an accessories accessory then 
you can slide to the width you want okay how do i install this when you buy it it's come in the blister pack and the instructions are there there's a little opening here see okay so i open my door and okay and i slide in my attachment my plot guide attachment and i attach my screw easy as easy as this okay and then you say okay let's so let's surge or so straight you have a knife here the, the one that we see is the upper knife and the one you don't see with the needle plate is the lower knife because knife is like a scissors okay so you need two knives There's, that doesn't exist just one knife huh? so the clock guide is here so this mark here is to be used depending the needle position this mark is the guide seam allowance guide according to the needle uh, position and these are the needle position the two marks on top of your uh, foot okay so let's say i buy a pattern that has a seam allowance of 5 8 and i want to surge it if i sew with my right needle position oh, i'm going to cut the excess i'm going to position my guide following this one align with that one and if i sew with my left needle position i will pull to maybe i'm not uh, okay i will pull to have my seam my my mark to my left needle position okay and now I just want to sew straight. So I will position after the knife. And I have fleece here. I'm afraid that um, the table is going to move. but And I do prefer to lift the foot. Then I prefer this. Then put this up some this much this machine has a protector okay a sensor if the foot is up the machine will so some other much other model you put the foot up and the machine uh, can sew huh? so then you end up with a bunch of thread you're stuck and so what did i do wrong huh? so now i like when my knife my knife is my knife is uh, and I, no, my knife is an angle like this. My knife is like, I like to insert my fabric in the knife. I don't want my knife to be, to be down. Because when I start sewing, it'll do this. And you don't want that. So, oh, it's at the beginning. You know, when you're not happy, uh, do it right. So now I'm going, I don't look here. I adjust everything. My machine knows where to go. So my hands and my eyes are following this guide. And I keep going. Keep going. Sorry, the noise. Huh? Well, for sure this is straight. I have the right one. You want to cut more? I'll go to, to the excess, uh, to, to the excess, okay, to the larger I can do, okay, here you go. So your eyes are here, where my finger is, of course, it has to be straight, well, I think, huh? it's okay, great, so let's say another reason, let's say you knit a sweater and you want to surge a seam allowance but danger there's a knife here so you don't want the knife you want the knife down so on this machine the button is the button is here oops push and so you see it's down okay 
and some other machine, there's a knob here inside. I don't have because it's here, but some other model, there's a knob here to put the knife down. When you, you do want to sew um, a, a knit, something you don't want to cut. See, when you start to sew, you're coming up again. So when you don't want to cut, put the knife down. But when you put the knife down, you, you really need, whoops, I'm not strong enough. Okay, you really need the guide. Because if you don't sew good here, if you're not really straight, your knit will, the, the um, oh, what's the name of this? In French is les boucles, but those loopers, loopers will catch the knit and you'll end up with a big mess. So to make sure you have no problem, use the guide. And I see a knit, whatever you, it is you want to attach you know let's say you want to do um um oh, 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 oh. i'm looking for my words i hate that uh for the, the translation um oh i forgot I'll, 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 I'll find it but there's some reason why you want to uh why you would like to um to use oh i'll find flat lock i found the word Okay, if you want to do flat lock and you don't want to cut your, your fabric, oh, this is perfect, okay? Or pin tucking or whatever you don't, when you don't want to cut, you really, you don't need it, need like a big N, need. But, oh, it's such a big security. Okay, now, let's say this, you're okay. Let's say you want to um, do bias. You want to cut bias. And you don't have the rotary cutter or the blade is not good or the mat is not there or you're not home you're, or you have arthritis in your hands or... You know, name it, okay? Well, this, these are scissors. Or if your fabric is not nice like this here, you want a nice edge. Look at that. Okay, yes, you can go and cut with your scissors, but sometimes the cutting is... Uh... So, do you know how to remove... To undo, uh, uh, untread the machine. Okay, so what I do is raise my foot, hold my chain, remove the thread from the chain, the needle thread from the chain, remove the thread, and the two others are coming out. Finito. Okay. And now i just need to search but if you do clean you don't want to if you want to clean and you have a needle the needle will do some will sew and you'll end up with you see stitches like this with holes so then what do you do you remove the needles both needles i have only one now but okay come and you know when you remove a needle you really have to tie this after because the vibration you lose them and it happens to me i couldn't find them and i had to buy another set so you want to clean is this clean was it easy? No needles, just cutting, and for sure you're straight. You didn't have to, let's say, I, sometimes, you know, my fingers, and it's hard, my wrist, and, oh, yeah, yeah, so you say, you say like me, I'm getting old, but at least I have my nice serger. Any model can do this. 
no needle, no thread. Let's say we want, I want to cut my bias. Like I say, like I say, my eyes are here. I see I'm, I'm using my leftover fabric. So my eyes are here. And my hand is go, is holding, you know, is pushing. I want to uh, make sure. It stays in place. So I go, and it's fast, and it's clean. I don't have to clean the mat. Look, my bias. Then you'll say, I say, Lynn, what do you want me to do with a little bias like this? Well, if you look at the previous, uh, previous uh, video, uh, well, you'll use it. But, you say, no, me, I want bias um, an inch and a half. Okay, so I'm going to use my table here because I have the mark on my, uh, my MC15000. But let's say I want an inch and a half, which is here. Okay, I remove that part. Or you want two inches? Oh, it's here, two inches. Okay. So, inch and a half would be too easy for you. So, my knife is there. Push, push the guide. And then you go. sorry in English there you are so you see I have my uh, bands border my border okay border you know my my mind doesn't translate that fast so you see I have my two inches border I have my bias here this one is three quarter of an inch and and I have my leftover Okay, so you see, just with that optional foot here. No, no, no. Optional attachment. Attachment. So I, these are my ideas, but you have your own ideas. You know, sometimes you're going to say, how can I use this? Oh, surgery would be the best with this. You have as many ideas as me. Okay, different, but the same, but uh, still ideas. Okay, so I'm back here. Yes. So did I do good? 33 minutes. Okay, I'm okay. So I'm taking the time to say we're Wednesday. So I wish you a nice rest of the week and a good weekend to practice everything you learned this week. And you know, I read all your comments and I answer each of you personally. So don't worry if you need if you need an information short information because it's hours on on the on the computer so um send me a little comments uh, and i'll answer you no problem it's always a pleasure makes me feel good okay so thank you everybody and you have a good end of the week and a good weekend oh i should have pushed this thank you for watching bye bye everybody